Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine Material Graph. Today we're talking about the clamp node. So let us begin. What does the clamp node do? If we grab a clamp node, and we've just got this cloud texture here, you can see it's on our sphere, on our circular cube. And we put this in there, we put this in there, and no difference. Absolutely nothing. Now that's because our default settings are 0 to 1. So if I put in a parameter or two, then you can see as I increase the minimum from zero up to whatever, it is affecting the, the black parts of the texture. And so what it is doing is it's setting a limit. And so it's not letting anything go below 0.25 and anything that is below 0.25 will become 0.25. Now I'll go over this in like a paint diagram uh, at some point. And so if we were to now, you know, lower that one again and do the same thing with the maximum, then we lower the maximum. You can see it's doing the same thing, but with the white values, it's not letting them go past a certain point. Now this has a lot of utility functions. So if we were to be using a lerp and maybe we're lerping between two colors, those colors being like a, a nice sort of desaturated I don't know, lavender color and uh, and, and also lavender colored blue. I, I don't know what color lavender is. <laughs> and let's say we were using this texture, but like multiplied by two or something or three. Let's go three, be a bit crazy. Um, so the alpha in this lerp is unclamped and you know, it will give us interesting results that are unexpected. So you can see here that this red or this kind of brownie color this isn't what we specified this has gone beyond what we wanted it to uh, if we were to instead clamp this then you can see it tames that now that we've clamped it it is no longer extrapolating information it's only interpolating between these two values if you are confused at what lerp does and why this happens you can check out my video here but essentially clamps can be super 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 useful for this very reason if you are using a clamp zero to one, you can just use a saturate node, which does the exact same thing. They're identical, except this one apparently uh, is free on most modern graphics hardware, as it says in the tooltip there. But I'm pretty sure that a clamp zero to one would just get optimized into a saturate when it gets compiled. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. So now the fun part of the video, let's jump into paint. So we've got a graph here, right? We've got zero down here, one up here. And let's say the value of our texture is doing this, you know, zero is zero, one is one. So we could put the max clamp at 0 0.5. And so our graph would end up looking like this, but then we're free to do whatever we want with this now and this truncation will remain there. Like if you've seen my basic math tutorial here, um, then you'll know that you know, when you multiply something into the base color or any of the other channels other than emissive, it will truncate up here, like it won't output anymore. But it's only doing that at the output. So by clamping something before it gets outputted, we could get this and we could, you know, add 0 0.5 or we could add 0 0.25 or we could uh, multiply it by 1.5 and then subtract it or something. Uh, and this, this sort of clipped part of the texture will always be there. It's definitely one of those nodes that, you know, you should just experiment with and see what it does. And if you start to think about luminosity or scalar values in the way that, you know, I've showed in, in paint, uh, you can sort of think up a lot of really useful ways to use this node um, other than, you know, being safe when you're plugging into alphas of lerps and stuff like that. So that's all from me today. I hope you feel enlightened now that you know what clamp does and how it can be used uh, to some degree. If you did find this educational or entertaining, then make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything materials and animation and, you know, Prismatica, my game. And if you really enjoy what we do here on the channel and you want to support us further, um, you can check out our Patreon below. So that's it from me. And with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye.